Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Real Men Real Style, and today I'm going to talk to you about why give a damn about your appearance. Okay, so first things first, first appearances matter. If you, if you look at uh, anyone that you've ever met, anyone that really had an impact in your life, oftentimes you'll think back to the first time that you met them. It's the same it's with my wife. I can remember what my wife looked like and how she presented herself and everything about that first meeting because she made a great first impression. So as you go throughout the day, understand that you're meeting a lot of people for the first time. And many times you may not even open your mouth. So your clothing, the way you present yourself, what covers 90% of your body is making the first impression. And if you're dressed sharp, whether it be in a sweater and, and jeans, whether it be in a suit and tie, that is saying something about you. And make sure that you control that. You know, I don't know what message you want to send, but make sure you control that message and you make a great first impression. All right, the second thing is it increases your perceived status around your peers. Now, how does dressing nice do that? Well, if you walk up to a group of people, you're at, let's say you're at a new, uh, new company and you're looking for who's in charge, and you see a bunch of guys milling around, and one of them's wearing a sports jacket, he just looks like he's in charge. That's the guy you're gonna go to and ask to find out who is in charge. And if that happens enough times, you know, people are gonna start to know, I mean, that, that guy, he's the go-to guy. And why did you make that initial assumption? Because he looked the part. He looked like he could be in charge. And so you're, you're putting your hopes, you're making a snap judgment based off appearance. So why not be that person? Why not be the guy, the go-to guy that people look to as, you know, he looks like he's in charge because perception can and eventually does oftentimes become reality. The other thing is it increases your confidence when you dress sharp. Militaries around the world have known this. Look at how much pride the Marine Corps takes in their uniforms. As a, as a former Marine, I can tell you that we spent a lot of time going over our dress uniforms where everything was placed. And when you wore your blues and you went out on the town, you felt uh, unstoppable, undeniable, which is probably why so many of us ended up in uh, jail after uh, so many balls. I'm just, okay, uh, you didn't hear me say that, but, but really, it, it comes down to when you put on a suit, it's... I mean, it's like a suit of armor. You, you put that on and you feel confident, you know you look great, it makes you look more masculine, and you can go out there and nail that interview, nail that uh, presentation, and, and just feel good. Another part is, uh, let's see, dressing sharp forces you to pay attention to details. So I, like I was just talking about uniforms, I mean, we had to know exactly where every little badge went. I mean, you're taking out a a ruler and you're measuring exactly where it goes. The same thing for a man when he has to dress sharp. He's paying attention to his shoes, he's not only cleaning them, he's conditioning them, and then he's polishing them. And he has to take time, he has to pay attention to these small details. And when you spend 30 minutes a week putting on a good shine on your shoes and then five minutes at the end of each workday cleaning them off and putting them away properly, you can bet that you're gonna look around and look at what other guys are doing. and. It's not that a man who dresses sharp is gonna be more competent, not guaranteed, but I can tell you, a guy that doesn't care about his appearance and just looks sloppy all the time is someone I would be very careful to trust with anything important. So again, you're paying attention not only to the details in your clothing and in your life, but it forces you and teaches you to pay attention to the details in others. You start to notice things about women, which isn't a bad thing. You know, when you can compliment them specifically about an item that makes them look great, well, they love this. Uh, or if you can, you know, you start noticing that a guy does pay attention to those little issues, and this is perhaps a guy that you've never spoken with, but he may be someone you want to have on that next project. Okay, now it makes you more useful at work. Now, it, you know, it doesn't, dressing sharp doesn't have you grow another arm or have another head where you can, you know, do multiple projects at, at the same time. What I mean by it makes you more useful is it means that you're somebody that can be put in front of a client. And I'll give you an example. So I have a client, I'm a custom clothing in case you don't know, and I've got a client over at uh, Microsoft. And he's a programmer and programmers notoriously don't dress nice. Well, this programmer does. In addition, he actually had a tuxedo made. Uh, it was his, he felt that occasionally 
he needed one, he was tired of running. Well, guess what? Literally six months after we made him that tuxedo, Bill Gates was in town, and this was a surprise visit. Nobody, literally there was six hours notice, and he was gonna be at a black tie gala, some type of charity event, and they wanted a junior programmer there, but you had to have a tux. No one else had time to go rent one, but my client was there prepared, and they even asked him, because they knew he always dressed nice, and they figured he would probably be the, the guy. And so even though when it comes talent-wise, he told me he was, you know, not, at the same level as a lot of other guys, but because he was prepared, because he was more useful at work, because he was simply dressed for the part, he was ready, he was prepared. Okay, if you give a damn about your appearance, you start to understand how colors and patterns can speak for you. You don't believe me? Well, what do you think about a guy that wears, you know, a pink outfit? You have an, you, you form an opinion of that guy. But what about a man that can wear colors that look great on him, are very masculine, but at the same time allow him to stand out, make him appear more unique. I mean, just look at this uh, this, this green olive fabric that I have here on my jacket. One, very unique. I can tell you that whenever I go out, I'm the only man wearing a jacket like this, and it feels nice. People notice it. It's not like I'm trying to you know push myself on others, but it, it's a small detail that. I don't even have to open my mouth and I've already said a lot about who I am and that I take pride in my appearance. The other one is patterns and understanding that patterns can give the illusion and can make you look taller. They can make you look more proportional. They can make you, instead of looking like a lanky giant, it can, they can help cut you down to size and make you look a bit more substantial. Knowing that a double-breasted jacket or wearing heavier fabrics is going to appear to give you more weight can make someone that's really skinny look like he has a little bit of meat on his bones. So understanding colors, understanding patterns, all of this comes into caring about your appearance. Okay, the other part, let's talk about clothing making a statement about who you are. So you walk into a doctor's office. Who looks like the doctor? The guy with the white lab jacket. That, you know, you look at that, he has on that jacket, it instantly sends a message of authority. You walk into a courtroom, what does a judge have on? He's got a robe. Now, there are reasons that these things exist so that we can instantly spot who is in charge and who do we trust as an authority figure. Whenever I, I live in a small rural town in Wisconsin, I go to my, every time I go to my son's school, I dress the part of his parent because I know I represent my family every time I walk into that building. When I go into the principal's office, it usually doesn't matter if there's a big group uh, of people perhaps, you know, kind of milling around. You know, I, I don't really know if they're there just, I don't know what they're doing there. I don't know who works there. But when I walk in, people notice and people, I get immediate attention because I look the part. I look like I'm important. The same thing when I walk into a busy bar or I walk into a busy restaurant. I walk in and I, I know who I am and I'm very confident and I show the world that, hey, I'm here, I mean business and please treat me like a respectable human being. All right, the last thing, a little bit fun here, but good looking men call the shots. Now, what does it mean to be good looking? It really has little to do with actually what's on your face and mug. Look at the most successful men in the world. Even Steve Jobs, he's got a uniform. I mean, don't, don't be fooled. Yes, he, wear, he wears that black turtleneck. He wears the, those jeans, which fit him horribly. But that is the message. He cares about his appearance, so much so that he is very, he controls his image. You look at Warren Buffett. Here's a very rich, very powerful gentleman. And he purposely, even though he could afford the best suits in the world, he doesn't go with that. He likes to portray this image of this guy that lives in the same house for 50 years to over in Omaha, Nebraska, despite being one of the richest men in the world. Again, just look at the people that are calling the shots. They care about their appearance. They realize it's one of the easiest things to do. You can have a Harvard MBA. You can have a degree from Stanford. No one's going to see that. All that they see is the clothing that you have on your body before you open your mouth. So make sure to give a damn about your appearance and to make the best first impression because really this is about you. This is about you being able to make your road easier. I, I know that you could not care, but why would you do that to yourself? It's like shooting yourself in the foot. 
give yourself the best chance to succeed. All right, this has been Antonio at Real Men Real Style. Thank you for your time and enjoy the other videos and the other articles we've got throughout our website. Thank you. Bye-bye.